Today we are talking about our updated thoughts on a snowstorm that is expected later on this week. If you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe to the channel with those post notifications turned on. Let's get down to the business. First off, we are taking a look at our European high resolution model here. As we get into the middle portion of the day tomorrow, we're going to have widespread showers and thunderstorms around across Texas, all the way up into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys here, and pretty much the entire northeastern Atlantic coast here. This will continue to intensify across the southern plains as we get later into the day tomorrow, with a weak low pressure system appearing on the screen in eastern Colorado uh, as we head into tomorrow night. Now, this rain is going to move northward across the Missouri. Mississippi River Valley as we get into Thursday. And then as we get later into the day on Thursday, we're going to start to see some cold air making its way into the northern portion of the storm right over Nebraska and into parts of South Dakota here. This is going to transition some of the rain over to snowfall, and that is going to be the start of the event. And you can see the snow becoming more widespread and intense on this model as we get later into the day on Thursday. So let's zoom in here to the Midwest to get a better look. The low is going to likely be located right over Missouri. Uh, as we get into Thursday evening here with more and more rain changing over to snow as the night goes along and those temperatures drop here. Some of the snow could be quite heavy at times across parts of the Midwest and northern Mississippi River Valley here. This is probably for areas south of Minneapolis and north of Chicago, but areas like Milwaukee and points north of Des Moines, Iowa, uh, likely Ames, Iowa, and points north towards Waterloo, uh, you guys could be giving, getting some heavy snowfall. I think right now the most uncertainty is what happens east of Lake Michigan. Uh, we could be looking at some heavy snowfall for parts of southwestern Michigan, maybe even southeastern Michigan as well. And then as we get past Lake Erie, that's where stuff gets really uncertain. Because as we get into Friday evening, it looks like we could have another burst of heavy snowfall across parts of Pennsylvania, maybe into Maryland. But that is more uncertain, and it is heavily dependent on how cold it can get across that area. However, it looks like this storm is completely out of the question as we get into Saturday morning. So by the weekend, the snowstorm will be wrapped up. Now, according to the European model here, it's not going to be a whole lot of snow across the mid-Atlantic, but a decent couple or a few inches here, uh, likely topping out of three to five inches across parts of south central uh, and into central Pennsylvania here. The GFS model is a little bit different, a little bit heavier snow, but also more localized. This would mean that northern Ohio, northwestern Pennsylvania, the traditional lake effect areas along Lake Erie would not be getting snowfall. Uh, it would mean just rain for you guys and snow would likely be confined to Pennsylvania. Midwest, similar to situation. Here's the European model here. Broad swath of uh, four to eight inches of snowfall from uh, northern Iowa all the way into southern lower Michigan here. Uh, it looks like points north of Chicago are going to be getting in on the action. And then here's the GFS model. And honestly, guys, I do feel like I agree with this solution more because it looks like the National Weather Service is also trying to go with a more northward shift. Uh, and this would be a more northward output of the two solutions. So I really think it's going to be areas north of Des Moines, Iowa, north of Chicago, Illinois, uh, areas like that that are going to be getting the snowfall. And some of the snow could be quite heavy. Uh, we're looking at some total six to eight inches locally higher in some spots, but of course, depending on how warm the actual uh, air temperatures are and the ground levels are, not all of the snow is going to stick. Southern Lower Michigan, you could also be looking at some sporadically heavy snow accumulations here. So let's take a look at the Weather Prediction Center. Here is Thursday. This is the probability of at least getting over an inch of snow on Thursday. It's pretty much without a question, especially across parts of northern Iowa and the surrounding vicinity here. Here's the potential to get over two inches. It's still looking pretty likely across the primary risk regions in northern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, this, or southern Minnesota. This may stretch into southern Wisconsin and into southeastern South Dakota as well. And then here's the potential to get over four inches of snow. And we really have to zoom in to see this here. It's going to be areas north of Waterloo. We're talking about areas like Mason City and uh, into Austin, uh, Minnesota here. You guys have a good chance of getting four to six inches of snowfall on Thursday. But this is likely going to shift around a little bit, and the snow potential could shift east of the Mississippi River and cross into Wisconsin as well during the day on Thursday. And as we head into Friday, uh, there's still going to be the potential for some accumulating snow across 
across the central Great Lakes and also into Pennsylvania and western New York here. Uh, if you're anywhere shaded on the map, this does include areas like Madison, Wisconsin, Grand Rapids, Lansing, and Metro Detroit, Michigan. Uh, this also includes Buffalo, New York. Areas like this, if you're anywhere shaded on the green on the uh, map here, uh, this means that you could be looking at some accumulating snowfall. And in this case, uh, it is a snow to a liquid to snow accumulate of uh, 0.25 inches, which means uh, because the snow is going to have a higher, uh, it's going to have the same water content, but a higher accumulation, 0.25 inches of rain is usually equi equivalent to about two and a half inches of snow. So if you're anywhere on the map here, there's a chance that you could be looking at a couple of inches of snow. And again, this also includes areas like Southern Ontario, along with the Central Great Lakes and into the Mid-Atlantic as well. Now, guys, after this storm is out of the area, it, it looks very active across pretty much the entirety of the United States. Models are showing up some concerning signals for next week here as we could have a very substantial storm trying to develop across the central plains. And as this moves into the Arklatex and eventually the Midwest, it could cause some pretty significant problems. We're talking about the possibility of a major snowstorm, a widespread heavy rain and wind event across a large chunk of the Midwest. And then further south, the Storm Prediction Center already has some concerning severe weather weather outlooks, uh, including areas like Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, we're talking about northeastern Texas all the way up into the Arklatex region, into Missouri and southeastern Kansas as well. If you're in the shaded area, we could be looking at an outbreak of severe thunderstorms on Monday, December 12th. Uh, and this will shift east, uh, you know, into the, into, uh, the Mississippi River Valley as we get into the 13th here. This could be a pretty significant episode of severe weather. Uh, if you have any questions on that, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going to be happening here, but the ingredients are favorable for severe weather. We're going to have dry, uh, we're going to have cold, dry air clashing up with that warm, moist air. We're going to have tons of wind shear, a powerful negatively tilted trough, and that could lead to some pretty significant severe thunderstorm problems as we get into next week. That's for another day and another time, though, because we got to take it storm by storm. So if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe with those post notifications turned on. And also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe and I will talk to you guys back here next time.